Hi, uh, this is Brian Powers. <laughs> Today we're going to look at StatCrunch and the tools that it has for doing uh, one sample uh, hypothesis testing on a population proportion or on a population mean. So we'll be looking at, um, uh, for the population proportion, the uh, a Z distribution or a standard normal distribution and uh, and the tools for doing hypothesis testing first. So when you do hypothesis testing, the classical uh, method involves test calculating uh, some test statistic from your data and then also calculating a critical region or a rejection region and uh, determining whether your your test statistic is in the rejection region or not. If it's in the rejection region, then you reject the null hypothesis, and that's the, the, the procedure. So when you're doing that, you need to, from a significance level, say in this problem, alpha 0 0.025, we want to get a critical region for a right-tailed test. This is gonna be done using the normal probability calculator. Remember, since this is a, um, since this is a Z value, we're using a standard normal distribution. And so I'm going to uh, just, uh, this is a right-tailed test. A right-tailed test means we want this rejection re region to be in the right tail. So we want to check this greater than or equal to. And we want that a level of probability in that tail to be 0 0.025. So this is what we're talking about. Uh, the cutoff for 0 0.025 in that tail is 1.959, let's round it up to 1, 1.96. So in this case, if we were to do a hypothesis test, calculate a test statistic, which would be a Z statistic in this case, if it was greater than 1.96, if it was anywhere in this red region, we would have sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis.